Here we see SQL Perfmon details for both our primary and secondary replicas on a storage pool consisting of 40 SAS disks with no fast cache enabled. Transactional I.O. throughput or IOPS shown as disk transfers a second for the primary replica is approximately 12,000. Looking at our secondary replica we see throughput of 800 IOPS as only write activity is replicated. Primary replica transactional activity shown as transactions a second or TPS is approximately 5000 during this time. Our secondary replica shows 300 transactions per second. We will show in a minute how this storage pool is currently I.O. bound. Next, we enable FastCache on the storage pool hosting our primary replica data files. This simple, one-click, transparent process requires no modification at the SQL Server level. After just 30 minutes of FastCache being enabled, we see the immediate effect on performance. We see I.O. throughput increase to approximately 24,000 IOPS on primary replica, 3,000 on secondary. SQL transactions a second on primary increases to approximately 14,000 TPS, 900 on secondary. After just two hours of fast cache running, we see throughput increase to over 50,000 IOPS on the primary replica, and transactional performance is approximately 25,000 transactions per second. Looking at Unisphere Analyzer, our EMC performance analysis tool, we see how the storage pool was initially I.O. bound, having reached the limit of its ability to service I.O. requests. After fast cache is enabled and a frequently accessed data is promoted to cache, we clearly see the pressure on the storage pool alleviated. Here we see a graphical representation of our Perfmon data. We see the transactional performance boost received from the introduction of EMC FastCache to our environment. The ability to service transactions per second having increased from 6,000 to over 26,000 transactions per second. EMC FastCache has boosted throughput performance. From an initial 12,000 IOPS, SQL Server 2012 running on a VNX series storage array is now able to consistently service over 53,000 IOPS, while at the same time providing amazingly low database latency of no more than 3 milliseconds for reads and 2 milliseconds for writes. Results clearly show the benefit of using EMC technology with SQL Server 2012.